Oh. Most men, all we need is peace. Yeah. The, the most valuable <laughs> thing to a man is peace. when he comes to an environment, whether it's on a date or he comes home. Yeah. Just give him peace. Yeah. A lot of that stuff that people assume is true about a man and what he thinks and all of that mm -hmm. is not really the case. You know, right. it's kind of like propaganda. <laughs> me being away from you is not me not loving Love you or you. not liking right. you. Right. It's just the or, way that a man has been built. Well, you talk to most men, right. and guess what? We enjoy our time alone. If, if you tap into the mind of a man, just like how women are jealous and feel left out, we too yeah. can oh, feel yeah. that. If you're dating that woman, you need to start checking how many times that woman has given you something. And if you ain't getting nothing, run. Love is an exchange. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave. Yeah. yeah. This is Henry Fernandez and welcome to the podcast. I'm really glad that you have joined us today. We're going to talk about a very interesting topic that I am quite sure, ladies, you really want to pay attention. You need to stop what you're doing. You may need to pass this on to a girlfriend or somebody, but we're going to talk about the mind of a man. The mind of a man. Can you really figure out what he's thinking, what's in his head? Because you see, if you can figure out the mind of a man, I think, you know, you can have a better relationship with him. So if you're dating, if you're married or you're in waiting, you're kind of confused. You don't know if you want to get married or if you want to date or whatever, um, that you understand how we men think. So, first of all, I want to really thank those of you who constantly watch my podcast. I really appreciate it. I'm going to ask that you get the word out, spread it to as many people as you can, you know, to have them uh, follow me on Instagram and also subscribe to my YouTube uh, channel. So, let me get right into this, the mind of a man, what make uh, what men, sorry, I should say, really want when it comes to marriage and dating. Mm. Two big topics, marriage and dating. So ladies, I told you, whatever you're doing now, you need to stop and you need to listen. Because I'm about to introduce to you three gentlemen. Uh, they come from all walks of life. You know, we've got um, Chris Maddox to my left here. How you doing, Chris? I am doing fantastic. How are you doing today, sir? I, I'm doing fine. But first of all, before I introduce the <laughs> other person sitting next to you, and I got a bone to pick with him. So, but before <laughs> I do that, let me talk to you. How long you been married? I am about to hit three years. Three, three years. years. So you're yes. young then. You, I'm young. You, you don't know nothing about. Yeah, my marriage you know. is like a bad toddler. Like, you, know, <laughs> you know how kids get to that that terrible twos. Okay. We and that, yeah. All right. I love my marriage. Now, don't I, I, I was just going to say, I hope she's not listening. No, 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 no. <laughs> I love my marriage, but you know, we almost three. When kids are almost okay. three, that's you when go. you got it. I got it. I got it. You well, might have to put them in headlocks. Well you know? taken. Well taken. <laughs> Now, sitting next to you is Frederick Custard. Hey, hey, Now, hey. ladies, the word on the street is he oh, is God. single. Oh, Ooh, the word, that's, right? That's, He's single. Oh, He's God. probably <laughs> dating. But yeah, I nope. tell people, as long as a <laughs> ring is not on it, you are still single. Oh, man. So I don't know if you're praying and you believe in God for whatever, yeah. but have faith. Have faith. <laughs> <laughs> said, have faith. Yes, I'm in the building. Thank you for the introduction, sir. Yeah. Um, uh, let's get into it. Yes, I'm, I am dating, you, so but according to him, there's no ring. So, so, you, you, so you're dating. Yes. How long you've been dating? Oh. <laughs> okay, let, let's move on. Let's move on to uh, uh, Kevin. He's got to think about that. Uh, yeah, I hope she's not watching. Well, she, I mean, we've been dating for a, a while. We've a while. We've been dating for a while. Notice he just says a while. Yes. Yes. Say two yes. months. A while. He say a year. I mean, and he say three you know, years. I mean, We're not going to get in your business. Right. We're not going to get in your business. Right. Right. And then we have Kevin Tucker. <laughs> now, Kevin, tell us. How many years? We right at about 10 and a half. So I guess if you at the toddler stage, I'm at the college stage. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. We had okay. about 10 and a half years. Okay. And I'm at the senior stage. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> What's that? 38 years. 38. Woo! 38 nice. years. Nice. That's nice. a long time. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very long time. So um, women are watching right now and they're trying to figure out, okay, this is very interesting here because we're talking about the mind of a man. Right. 
Um, can you really figure out the mind of a man? Maybe I should ask this question quickly. Do you think women can truly understand us? I do think, I, I, I think so. I think um, the big obstacle to women understanding men is a lot of the, the presuppositions, the things that we assume and then we take to be gospel <laughs> truth. And, um, and then when you really sit down, you break a lot of it down. A lot of that stuff that people assume is true about a man and what he thinks and all of that mm -hmm. is not really the case. You know, right. it's kind of like propaganda. <laughs> you, know, I mean, you know, let me interrupt. You know what? Okay. All <laughs> that's right. a good one. It's just not true. But you yeah. know, one of the things that I'm, I'm going to give you a, a point real yeah. quick. You ever watch a sitcom and when you watch a sitcom, the husband is dumb stupid yeah. crazy yeah. yeah the wife is smart intelligent attractive that's true. and if it wasn't for that wife this man would the, be out here be nothing. Mm -hmm. yes, that's true. you know what i mean and so mm -hmm. people take that's that in like yeah that's just how it is yeah that's the way society has portrayed <laughs> yeah. us all right so what about you do you think um uh you know frederick that women can really from a from a single guy's perspective yeah do you think women can really understand the mind of a man I do think it's possible. Um, it all boils down to communication for that particular relationship. Right. Because we are all different. We are all the way we think, the way we are, act, our upbringings, as far as, a, it's hard to generalize that. Mm -hmm. But I think it, it is possible if you have right. a, that connection with your, your, with your girl and y'all are able to communicate and continue to go through the process of learning one another, you can understand your man. Okay. I do. Right. I do think so. I, I think it's possible, but not without the man's help. Come on, somebody. Mm. You know, you have to be straight up with us and communicate. I think one of the things that you find a lot of times with women is you talk about propaganda. Sometimes they can be presumptuous mm. in their own mind and come to this preconceived notion of what a man is or how men right. think. But without talking to me, you'll never understand me. Right. And so I think it's, it's, it's highly possible. But we just got to have some real honest conversations yeah. about my side of the story, okay. you know. Mm -hmm. Let, let's right. let's talk let's right. talk some stuff yeah. on my side. So let's let's deal with this. From each of you, what is the one thing you wish women understood about us men, and uh, as it relates to marriage and dating? Now, you know, all of us are believers. You know, mm -hmm. right. we we believe in Jesus Christ, right? right? Mm -hmm. There are many guys who are watching the podcast who are unbelievers. Not that they hate God or. And so forth. Some do, you know, some don't believe in God, right, whatever. But right, right. the unchurched, th they still believe in God, but they have not yet turned their lives over to Christ. So their minds are not renewed. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so they have a different concept of um, what they think, um, you know, women uh, under, you know, their concept of right. what a woman's thoughts are pertaining to men. But from a Christian perspective, what do you think is the one thing you wish women understood about us men? You know, because, for example, you know, I could tell you uh, an unbeliever would would just simply say, um, you know, I just wish women would just realize all we want is sex. Right. You right. Know? Right. Right. Mm. Hopefully church guys don't think that. <laughs> Uh, that's, mm. that's, I'm pretty sure I mean, some of them really do, but like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't think okay. about that either? Okay, okay. Although so, it's, so, so it's in the church, too, right? I, I think okay. it is oh, in the definitely. church. You can smell but, it. It, but there are some people who who don't think that way. You know, right, there are some right. believers who don't think that way because right. I think, one. I mean, there's a lot of things that we wish women understood just inherently as a man. Right, yeah. And I know being married for me at 10 and a half years, you know, my wife and I talk, and I get my me time in because it's from I need it for my sanity. Mm -hmm. But if you talk to a lot of men, most men would tell you I need time alone, mm -hmm. away from you. In the marriage. In the marriage. Right, right. And sometimes in dating, and yeah. me being away from you is not me not loving, loving you or you. not liking right. you. Facts. It's just the Boy. way that a man has been built. Well, you talk to most men, right. and guess what? We enjoy our time alone. Right. But isn't it true that some women, when they see their man, mm -hmm. kind of go in a separate room, <laughs> or go in the backyard chilling, uh -huh. they cop an attitude like, oh, what's, yes. wrong? what's wrong with you now? And sometimes there's nothing wrong. We just want our me time. We just want our me time. Kevin, you just said something that's the realest thing I pro you probably ever said in your life. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 
one of the big things that happened, I'm newly, you know, three years, right? Right. And I love my wife. And like you say, I love spending time. Our first apartment, we had this giant patio. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite things to do is, hey, little man is ready. We done got him. We, he's fed. We ate. We had dinner together at the table. Right. And now I'm going to go on the porch. Right. Now I'm going to go on the porch. Right. I might put a game on or something. And then it's like, okay. But aren't you gonna spend time with me? And in my mind, I'm like, we just spend, spend time, we, right, <laughs> right, right, right. We right. all year, all hour three right. of spending time right. together. Can I get right? And right. and, and count the time. Sometimes it make me feel uh, uh, guilty, guilty, right, yeah. convicted right. because right. I'm like, well, is it something wrong with right. the fact that right. I just want a couple minutes, you know, to myself? In a case like that, what you have to understand, the the way women interpret time. It's completely different from us. Absolutely. You know, for example, your wife may say to you, hey, and you need to learn this, Frederick. I'm listening. Right? <laughs> I'm listening. Your wife may say <laughs> to I'm you, listening, people. you know, I want you to be home more. Yeah. You know, you, you go out too often or whatever. And I want you to stay home, spend some more time. And immediately in the mind of a man, when she says, I want you to spend more time, mm -hmm. for most of us guy, is we gonna cuddle up in that bed, uh -huh. we gonna watch a movie together, and we gonna. Oh, he clapped it. I ain't saying he nothing. Just, he didn't have to. The right. hand said it all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't think the don't song, leave me out here hanging brothers by myself. I think the song yeah, is no, Hammer Time. You don't do nothing. Yeah, you, you can't, can't do that right now. You, you, you're yeah, supposed man. to. You what you clapping that. for? I'm just, I like the clap. <laughs> You've only been dating like for a while. He needs to go ahead and repent with his hand. <laughs> can we just have an altar call right here for Frederick? Right, because right now. You're not like supposed to be clapping. <laughs> Clapping is for married people. <laughs> okay. You got a hand in his shirt. Let me get back to the subject here. And what women don't understand is when we come home, that's our focus is on that. Yeah. But to them, when they want me time is change the light bulb. You go ain't fix never that. Go lied. clean this out. Go. And you're like, I didn't leave. Take a day off from work. Mm -hmm. No. To, to no. sit in here for you to boss me around <laughs> to tell me what I need to do in the house. Let's come on now. Let's let's yeah, yeah, let's. Yeah. That's how we men think, right. and, and I know ladies are watching right now, and you're thinking, see, that's the mind of a man. He is nasty. He's thinking, and He's nasty. that's just how we are. Boaz, when Boaz saw Ruth, right, and Ruth was in the field and so forth, it's the lust of Boaz's eyes. Right, exactly. Good lust. Good yeah, lust. It was. Now, that's a conversation in and of itself. The, good, good lust. lust. There's nothing wrong. That he looked and he like, okay, I'm gonna protect this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, none of my workers gonna touch her. Uh, <laughs> In fact, uh, he went and said, uh, "You see that one right there? That's you can touch do. everybody else." That's mm -hmm. what we do, right? Because to him, he's a protector. He wants quality time, and for us men, that's what we want. But for women, when it comes to whether it's dating or marriage, their concept of spending time is so different. And then when we kind of want time for ourselves because women take time for themselves oh yeah they go you know they go yeah with the mall <laughs> shop with with their friends and so forth but we really need women to understand that mm. yeah but and then too you know what you also have those group of women that they don't want the time because they want the time all with the man mm. they want to be clinging to the man mm -hmm. and then once he finally take a step back and go take care of himself right then they come up with these preconceived notions that right. wait a minute why you got to be away from me so much? What's going on? Right, right. And so you, you, I think you got both worlds to this. You got the ones that enjoy their time away, but some men are really out there dealing with women who, when they go away, mm -hmm. it's always an issue because in the back of the woman's mind, right, who's right. the other woman? Let, let's talk, go ahead, Frederick, you were well, say something. No, I was just thinking about it because I'm like, that That has a lot to do with that particular relationship as well because love that's- Love languages. Love right. languages, and mm -hmm. that's right. something that's brewing because why would she even have that thought a, unless something had been done in the past, or she's also dealing with something that she's dealing with herself. Right, right. absolutely. Not necessarily right. with men, but yeah. Let's talk about dating. A lot of people are dating, right? What do you think women need to understand about men when it comes to dating? What are men's desires in dating? I think that question depends on where the man is in his um, personal evolution. 
Right. When I was dating before I got married, there was a period of time where my dating process was, can we have some fun? Mm-hmm. Can we right. go out? Can we right. go get something to eat? Can we go catch a show? Let's just have some fun and let's enjoy each other's time. But then as as things evolved, I had a, so many oppor- so many situations where, you know, you're kicking it with somebody, you're dating for a while. For a while. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For a while. You're kicking An it indeterminate them. period yeah. of time. Right. right. Um, but then when it's time to like, when that thing falls apart as it does, right, it's so hard sometimes to extricate yourself, especially mm. if there's been premarital yeah. sex. Right. And yeah. so I got to a point where I was like, you know what? I, I hate the, 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 we got to separate and now we got to go back and mm. forth for two weeks, mm. you know, all right. of that. <laughs> right. So then that's when I was like, you know what? Now when I'm dating, I'm, I'm, we not, I'm not so much focused on, can we kick it? Can we hang out? Is there going to be sex at all or any of that? Now I just need to know where's your mind at? Right. You know, and because so, most men, yeah. all we need is peace. That, the, the most <laughs> valuable thing to a man <laughs> is peace. when he comes to an environment, whether it's on a date or he comes home. Yes. Just give him peace. Yeah. Peace. You know, a lot of women, <laughs> their concept of dating, they see a guy, okay. I'm open to dating. And the first thing in their mind is, okay, what's the intention? Or what's your intention mm-hmm. about this relationship? Mm-hmm. Are we gonna get married? Mm-hmm. And, and women, you need to understand this. Girl. What will scare a man immediately is when you just confront him. Okay, where are we going with this? And I know what you're saying, Henry. Isn't that what we're supposed to do as Christians? Absolutely. Right. That when you're dating someone, it should ultimately lead to marriage. But whenever you come to the table and you just put on the table, okay, I'm just meeting you. Mm. I, w- I want you to marry me. That right. scares the heck out of all of us. Because it adds a lot of pressure to oh, the situation. Oh, absolutely. Uh, unnecessary pressure. Because when you the, when you first posed that question, the first thing I thought about was men have their own timeline. There you go. Facts. And sometimes a woman has can have a tendency to rush it, and and when it, and and with as a man, once you start rushing us against our own timeline, mm-hmm. what we do, we retreat. Yeah. Right. We pull back, and then we start ignoring that, mm-hmm. and then we'll figure it out on our own in our own time. And sometimes what a woman really won't won't happen mm. because you put too much pressure on the man. Right. 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 And I think for for the body of Christ. Women just need to understand that just as women are sometimes broken, true, um, scared, men insecure, are broken too, yeah. we men are broken, we're insecure, oh, we're absolutely. scared, yeah. we're hurting, we're frightened, yeah. we're hurting, mm-hmm. and so forth. So they need to understand that, yeah. that one of the greatest thing you can do, listen to this ladies, if you can tap into the emotions of a man, if you can tap into that and connect to that mm-hmm. and fully understand how he operates, how he thinks, you got a winner. You got a king because now the synergy. See, if you understand yeah. that this guy, you know, when, when he steps away, when he becomes silent, it's not that he's angry at me. It's not that he's mad at me. Maybe he's processing things because he's at his best Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when he step back, analyze the situation Mm -hmm. so that he can make better decisions. Sometimes women force men to act quickly because you want us to perform instantly and quickly. And when you do that, you ha- you force us to play a role that we were not prepared to play. Let's, I'm gonna go back to the question because you just said something that made me think. You know, the question was women. We, one thing we wish women understood, and you just I, I think the way it just crystallized in my mind was, I wish they understood that that everything isn't personal. Because, like you oh, said, that's, like, that's, that's, that's good. Yeah, don't, that's don't, don't take everything. Yeah, is everything personal. is everything yeah. isn't personal. Wow. If I if I need a moment, like you said, to process it. Don't take that as a personal attack against you because the truth of the matter is what clicked when you just said that is when you're in a man, especially in a marriage, especially in a new marriage, and there's a there's a a weight, a good weight, because you chose it. You know what I'm saying? But these decisions, 
Right. These are real decisions. Yep. Yeah. And I'm I, I'm I'm transitioning from making a decision for for Chris, the the solo man who could do what he want, and now I'm making decisions for a wife, a family, a future, a legacy, and I'm, I need to go on the porch for a second. Right. Right. My goodness, right. 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 I can't just. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not throwing out space but the, calls. Right, but, right. But Chris, the pressure sometimes that are on us men. Overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I hear ladies say, you know, I got to take care of the babies. Got to take care of the house. I got to cook. I got to... Fine. And we, we men need to be sensitive to them, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. The pressure, because a lot of women out there, you know, two, three kids, uh, they have to be dealing with, they got to go to work. Um, first of all, get up, get the kids ready drop them off to school, then come back from work and do the same thing, prepare for the mm -hmm. with the kids, dinner, homework, the pressure's on. But for men, yeah. they don't understand that when we go out there in the world, mm -hmm. the pressure we men deal oh, with. Yeah. It's, 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 it's huge, it's the, the, the amount of pressure, because we're not only dealing with the pressure of, the, of building and protecting and providing and raising the family along with mm -hmm. the spouse, right. but, as, but just as men, we have to deal with the pressure of society. And men of and color. The, and yeah. men, men of color. Of men, color. Yes. Let's not forget that, yeah. men of color. And the stigmas that come along with, mm -hmm. Bro. you know, it's, it's a lot of the unspoken expectations yeah, mm -hmm. that men deal with. And a lot of times what women don't know is, it is so much that so much things right, that we are right, processing right, right. throughout the day. Right. We can be in the okay. house mm -hmm. watching a football game and still trying to figure out how am I gonna do this for the family. My I'm wife just it. said that. My mm -hmm. kids told me this. I gotta do work on this. It's so much that we are so juggling much. because in our right. minds, guess what? Mm -hmm. We still understand that the burden right. of that foundation, that family right. still rests on our shoulders. And if she does understand when to just leave you alone or when to just sometimes just pass by yeah and just said baby we got this yeah love you yeah and Guess so what? forth because the, the thing is what women need to li ladies you need to listen to this <laughs> you said something kevin is when a man goes out there and he has to think about his job he has yeah. to think about you know money and the pressure of society uh the the issue of him being a black man yeah. and the part we don't want to talk about especially in the body of christ the temptations yes, sir. Mm -hmm. that are out there. Yes, sir. So watch this. He's going out there, and all the temptation. You got somebody on the job, whether it's some women may say they're Jezebel and the devil set them up. Here's the thing. When a man has to fight through all of that temptation, mm. and then he comes home, and that <laughs> house is not peaceful, it's gonna be a and problem. you throwing a lot of stuff at him, <laughs> That is room for the devil. Hi there, this is Henry Fernandez, and I just want to take this time to say a big thanks to all of you who watch my podcast. You guys are really awesome. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can stay in the loop for the next episode. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. So let's keep the good vibes going, my friends, and continue our journey of growth and inspiration together. Stay tuned, my real ones. Absolutely. It's an open, wide open, it's a double door. I'm telling wide you. Wide open. Because notice with Samson, when, the, when they tried to get him to find his power, mm -hmm. they realized they couldn't get it from him outside of his house. Right. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Very true. The strength of a man can never be tapped into wow. until you enter his house. Wow. I'm telling you. When you go into his house, that's where you find the strength of a yeah, man. That's up. why Satan is very strategic. Mm -hmm. He says, the man is out there in the marketplace, in, in, in his job, his place of business, and Satan will pick and pick and pick and he'll test and he'll test. Okay, but the problem is, <laughs> okay, the man may be strong, but when he comes home and there's a nagging woman mm -hmm. or a woman who doesn't understand, mm -hmm. then all you have done now you have given the opportunity now to say, I can't trust this environment. Now, right. he shouldn't. And I know what you sisters yeah. are quickly typing. Yeah. See? Yeah. Well, he need to keep his head and his yeah. body at home. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's hard for a man to be digging into cement. What? 
not possible. I, I, I can, if it's sand, <laughs> I can dig right. and put my head in there. But when it's a hard rock, oh Jesus. Anyway, let me possible. leave that alone. <laughs> we don't talk about emotions Ooh. Ooh. and vulnerability here. There's a stigma that says real men shouldn't show their emotions in society. Mm. I've heard that before. And with their partners because uh, it makes them weak. So we want to talk about that. And uh, I want us to unpack uh, that for a moment so that we can see what uh, men really, really want mm -hmm. in this particular area. So I want us to watch this, uh, these two video clips, and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. So let's take a look. Even during that Christmas, man, when we went to Michigan and spent Christmas uh, with uh, our aunt, her aunt, and I typically buy the gifts for the kids. Now, she would probably buy some stuff, but I would make sure they all have something. Mm -hmm. So I bought gifts for uh, her and the kids, and we go to open up that morning, man, and then next thing you know, we go to our son, go to our daughter, and go to her, and then, okay, so, Mom, where'd you get that? I, <laughs> I, I totally forgot. <laughs> wow. I totally wow. forgot That's right. with that smirk laugh like that. And I'm over there sitting on the couch like. Blank. Mm. Oh, you did? And I said, well, that's okay. Um, y'all got y'all's gifts. And Sterling, you good? She was like, yeah, I'm good, but mom, for real? You didn't get that nothing? Wow. And you know, he said it with that extra nothing. Right, right. <laughs> and she was like, I, I forgot. I forgot. And then um, after that, man, um, finished they opened their gifts and, and this and that. And mind you, at this time during that year, everything was closed. Gas stations are closed. Right. Grocery Back stores, the, everything. Yeah. You know, now you see seeing stuff open on Christmas and <laughs> right, that, right, right, stuff right. like that, man. And then... Um, we got done opening the gifts and all that, and then I easily went upstairs to the bedroom where we stayed at, and I sat on the bed, and I just started crying. Mm. And then, again, I said I wasn't going to do it, but you got to go. Got to go. <laughs> we choked up now, man. And, uh, <laughs> and third and most importantly for me, and I really feel like we don't speak about this enough, is people don't realize how often men are experiencing a lack of intimacy. And the only place that they can experience that intimacy is through sex. We've created a, si a society where men are so afraid to be vulnerable with each other, to be, you know, sensitive with each other, to care for each other, to love each other. You know, even saying that as a guy, you always have to change and be like, you can't just say, I love you. You have to be like, I love you, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, 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 gotta, you, you gotta throw it like you can't just say it. And, and it's interesting because that, that is where I do feel women have done a much better job of being there intimately for each other. Not mm -hmm. sexually, but intimately. Mm -hmm. And I think we take for granted how much in society men who say sex is the thing they're not getting are actually struggling with a lack of companionship, of intimacy, mm -hmm. of being in a space with a person where, they, where they're sharing, you know, everything from serotonin to endorphins to what, to what humans need to feel, mm -hmm. you know? And, and I... I, I hope we can change that conversation just a little bit more. I, you know, I hope we get to the place where guys go, oh, I actually, I actually didn't need the sex. I needed to be held. <laughs> and I live in a society where it's hard to be held unless I'm having sex. Mm. Because as guys, you can't just go to a guy and be like, just hold me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. Facts. Wow. 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 Yeah. Uh, um, That's a lot. Uh, uh, it is. First, I, I want to talk about the first video uh, for a moment. And... Um, what that guy experienced, sadly, mm -hmm. is happening a lot hmm. in a lot of men's lives. I've oftentimes say this when I'm doing baby dedication, that I say to the women a lot, be careful that you don't divorce your husband and marry your children. Right. Mm. Where you get so preoccupied with taking care of your kids they're number one, they're so important, that you forget the intimacy with your husband. Not sex, right? but quality time that connection. with your man. Wow. And the important things, you know, women 
if, if you tap into the mind of a man, just like how women are jealous and feel left out, we too yeah. can oh, feel yes. that because Absolutely. like the guy, you know, he's providing the money right. in most cases. Mm -hmm. And you go and you buy the kids their gifts and everything and yes. nothing spoke to you to say the first gift you ought to get, and I know a lot of women are not gonna like what I'm about to say. When you are buying Christmas gifts and whatever, Thanksgiving gifts or whatever, the first gift you need to purchase is your spouse. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Kids are second. Mm -hmm. What got me in that video, I think the part that really just bothered me is the fact that his son caught on to it. Yeah, yes. And as a man, I can only imagine being in that situation. Yeah. Thank God I haven't, but I can only imagine right. being in that situation and you having to hear your son say, really? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Like the son was shocked mm -hmm. right. that daddy didn't get, how, how right. did you forget right. him? Right. You gotta play and, it and, 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 and what women don't understand, those moments can literally crush, crush. a man. But he said he cried. He cried. said he went to his when room. He, yeah. a, grown a grown man went to his room and cried because his wife Totally forgot him. Kevin, we were having a conversation earlier, and I'm you can expound on it. And you talked about how a lot of times, too, women don't understand that men want to be cared for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You know, you see it, and, and sometimes it's become a joke in society, the difference between Mother's Day and Father's Day. And Mother's Day is, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A rightfully deserved yeah. fantastic holiday. Yeah, mm -hmm. They can just take Father's Day off the <laughs> calendar because there's nothing happening that day. And then Father's <laughs> Day, you know, you yeah. get your mug, you get your, hey, yeah. you know, they got yeah. the one commercial. Mothers go to restaurants, fathers go outside to grill their own food <laughs> on Father's Day. <laughs> but it speaks to something that I've heard Same. you speak about, yeah. which was, you know, that men wanna, want to be catered to and cared right. for. And right. in that video. Right. What that man was saying, it seemed to me, was it's Christmas. Mm. At the at of, of any okay, maybe you forget right. me on mm. some other day right. or whatever. But on Christmas Day, yeah. right, right. And, and after I have, like right. you said in the video, I made sure everybody was good. Right. And now I'm sitting back waiting on right. the king's reward as And it that were. crushed him. Yeah. That that it, crushed, it crushed him. He played and it off by smirking. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, just, just like that. And, and, and women need to understand this. You honestly, truly will get the best out of a man when you make him a priority. Uh, um, abs absolutely, completely. You know, oftentimes, even when I speak to um, some of my female cousins and even some women, I tell them one of the most important things that a man looks for in a woman is to believe in me mm. and to support yeah. my dream. Yes. Because to have a woman by your side who fully supports you, that's all this that's all the ammunition that a man right. really needs. Right. Is right. that you're gonna be that you got my back. Right. That's all I want. But with that, right, we it should be demonstrated in in multiple yeah. ways right. Right. going back to right. taking care of me. And so that means that sometimes as a man, I need my woman to affirm me as well. Right, yeah. right. You know, right, yeah. we want the same compliments. And I think if we scale this thing back and just look at the DNA of humanity, right. we humans, at the end of the day, we all have emotions. emotions. We right. have the need to want to feel. feel. We all have our right. desires. Yeah. If want to feel appreciated. Gotta feel appreciated. And, and, and this, is, this is really gonna hit home, especially even on the dating side. You know, guys, you really have to ask yourself the question because women are, not all, I get that, but most women are looking for men to express mm -hmm. their love mm -hmm. and their appreciation for the woman that they have. Mm -hmm. So women are looking, my birthday, the woman's birthday, get me something. Get me something for Valentine's. Get me something for what it, our anniversary yeah. when we met. You know, right. um, you take me up for dinner every now and then, surprise me with flowers. Women are always looking for stuff. But guys, you need to ask yourself a, qu a question. If you're dating like you, Frederick, if you look at the period of time you've dated, eight months, a year, two years, how many times that woman have given you something? Right, right, right. And if it doesn't matches, listen to me carefully, ladies, the effort that you're putting out, be careful. Mm. No, I be think that's careful important. when 
As a man, you're going out of your way. You're buying things. You're buying things. And a whole year would go by. Yeah. And she won't buy you anything. Oh, I'm going to hit you with something now. You're dating for a whole year. And you go to the restaurant. And every time <laughs> you're paying the bills. And she don't offer one time. Yeah. And I know what ladies are going to say. Well, he's taking me out. That's his responsibility. <laughs> I tell ladies this, and I know it's going to create, a, create a, a real bad backlash on my part. But any woman who sits there and keep taking, taking, taking from a man and don't help loving the man by giving back to him just wants him for his money. Wow. She's and, and, a thief. Wow. Ooh, and anytime that, a woman comes to steal that. from you, run, run. for your life. Run. <laughs> she a thief. Run. You need to run. You need to she's run. a thief. If she's not giving you anything, because they'll tell you, especially in the secular world, they'll tell you, well, you know what it is. That's real. You know, as long as he's having, you know, I'm giving him my body. When I, I was when in, in the it's dating yours. world, right, oh, that, that was one of the things uh, that used to stand out to me all the time. Mm. We going out to eat. Uh, you know, we going out multiple times, and after a while, you start to get the feeling mm. you've been I, taken. I, yeah, you've been I'm, taken. I'm, I'm, I'm just a, you, I'm just the vehicle. Cash to the, cow. I'm the vehicle to the meal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a like wait a minute. That's meal. it. It's about time for me to eat right. out. I want to yes. help some men out there. Yes, a vehicle to. <laughs> the you meal. need to take inventory of your relationship. If you're dating that woman, you need to start checking how many times that woman have given you something, and if you ain't getting nothing. Run and and what is what is something? Like, Run. What, what is? I don't what? care how beautiful she is. And for those of you who are not Christians, curious. and of course, even if you're Christian, oh, you're trying to live a good life, just and run, you're still y'all. having just sex. Run. I get it. <laughs> Ain't no sex that good. Oh, that. That's you, true you you got to get something back. That's true though. I, I, I'm it sorry. It ain't no sex worth because there's a. You you're not just gonna keep playing me. That's on, it. Bro. You know and, what I'm saying? Like, that's, I mean, that's what it is. You've been I'm, playing. I, I'm I'm a I'm a right. South Florida dude, 19th Street, Lauder Hill. You Represent. ain't gonna keep trying. Me. Represent. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, so I, 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 and, and we got one more point to go because this <laughs> this is getting interesting here. But I want to make sure everybody understand out there what we're saying here. We and especially because we're men of faith, we're right. not saying that you are to buy love. No. Yeah. You know, don't, don't say that because, no, you know, you know, you so that mean, you know, I got to give him something. Listen, love is an exchange. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. Yeah. For right. God so love the world that he gave. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. In turn, he wants you to give yourself back to him. Right. That's how love works. So when you say you love someone just like you love your children, and you will do absolutely everything. You will not buy clothes for yourself and buy for the kids. If there's a man in your life and you believe he's a good man, you need to do everything possible mm-hmm. to show that man that you love him. Buy him a cologne. Yes. Buy him a shirt. Yes. Buy him something yes. and so forth. But don't sit there every time. And every weekend you want him to take you out, take you out, and you watch oh. him <laughs> swipe his card. Swipe. And you sit there and go sit in his front seat. And you want him to open the door all the time. And you ain't paying the bill one time. <laughs> Stop it. Well, you make me feel very good <laughs> Stop about, about my three-year marriage because... <laughs> to that point, I got to give my wife some props. He's trying to clean it, it up. Hey, hey, clean hey, up hey. an aisle seven. Throw it out there. Throw it out there, brother. I'll come home and I'll have a shirt. The, you know okay, what I mean? Okay. I'll come home and it'll be a bottle okay. of cologne in the bathroom. Listen. Yeah. Or we going out somewhere. Wow. And and she'll now all our money is our money. You know what I'm saying? But even the the act of hey, I'm pulling my card out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I I appreciate that. And so to that point, I I um I think. I don't have to run, you know what I'm saying? I think in my situation, at least, I can plant my feet a little bit because uh, my wife does a very yeah. good job of, of trying to make sure I'm good. You, yeah. know? you and I both don't have to run, but there are really, I've, I've seen it. You know, thank God I don't have to run because my wife does that. But there are a lot of men right. that are really experiencing that type of hardship where they working wow. and doing everything, and yet they don't see the expression, the the it's not reciprocated. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't see the return back on what they're investing into it. But I really think it really goes back just to just the state of the mind of society generally. Right. Think about it. Men have already been taught from day one, be strong, provide, you know, 
you show your emotions, but it's going to come out through sports. Right. It'll come out through, you know, aggression. But women have kind of had that. Ex they've been, uh, yeah. I would say, groomed to have those type of expectations that men really, that as wow. much as we want it, we won't even talk about it. Wow. You know, because that's just not the way that we've been groomed wired. to really yeah. and right. wired to express, right. even though we should, though. Right. The mind of a man. Woo. What men really want. When it comes to marriage and dating, we can not have enough time Man. to discuss this. I mean, listen, I hope you got something out of the podcast. Hopefully we provoked you to begin to examine yourself and to think if you're a brother out there and, you know, maybe things are not going so well for you. Maybe you're in a bad relationship mm -hmm. or maybe it's in a good relationship. At the end of the day, be your authentic self. Right. Yeah. Submit yourself to God. Yeah. And don't go changing just to please someone because whatever changes they're requiring, it may not be of God and it may not be healthy for you. Mm -hmm. Be the best man that God has called you to be. Right. And when you do that, you'll be the best man for that woman. And women, I just want you to know that we men are not that complicated. Now, I, I get it. Some of us, we're crazy. I get it, you know, and we have our issues. But I tell you what, if you ask God to give you wisdom to deal with a man, to discern, is that man for you? Because mm -hmm. if God gave you that man, he never gave you a perfect man. But if he gave you that man, it is your job now to figure out how do you handle him? How do you get to understand his ways and so forth? So I, I really appreciate you guys for being on the podcast today. We've got to do this again, man, because it is just thought provoking, thank you. Thank you. you know, that uh, we were able to deal with these issues, yeah, yeah. especially right, right. as men, men of faith. A lot of church people don't want to oh, become this yeah. raw, this very mm -hmm. open Absolutely. and vulnerable in discussing these things. But I think in the church, we need to do uh, exactly uh, what we're doing so that we can better uh, strengthen ourselves. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe. Follow me on IG, and I look forward to seeing you again on the next podcast.